rising in opposition to this legislation this evening. Washington State, if this is adopted, will be the only state in the nation um, to have an ergonomics uh, regulation on its state books. Madam Speaker, we've heard through the different speeches how the system is working. We've heard how responsive the Department of Labor and Industries is. We've heard how these injuries are declining across many of the categories. We're going to overturn a citizen's initiative and add perhaps burdensome regulations that are going to change the environment for not only employers but employees and could potentially wreck those trends that have been downward for some time. I speak from a level of experience when um, I was the CEO of a public agency before my retirement. Uh, we were doing a major change in our administrative office. And one of the things that we did is we called in L and I. We asked for that consultation. We asked for them to provide recommendations on different equipment um, and different furniture and things that would make our individual employees be able to adjust to their workstations and their work environments so they didn't have the repetitive motions that do cause those injuries. That technical assistance that was provided was instrumental in creating a workplace that, um, to my knowledge, has been very, very safe and effective. Again, things are working properly. Right now, they have the ability to come in and provide that technical assistance. They have the ability to do the consultations upon request. And they also have the ability to go into a workplace when there's a complaint that things aren't right. So adding the ability to create all these new rules and perhaps create a situation where change is made unnecessarily um, is not needed. This legislation could lead to increased injury. It could lead to increased, uh, increased premiums. And that's going to trickle down into our uh, commodities, our health care, the cost of our workers' comp. We really need to think seriously about what we're doing here, Madam Speaker. And I urge you to join me in voting no. Let's take a step back and do the right thing for our employees and employers. Thank you, Madam Speaker.